Hello friends, welcome to lmsdaily.com. In this video, I will show you how you can set up Moodle on your own Windows computer using XAMPP. XAMPP is a local host server which is released by Apache Friends and it is also an another open source project and you can download it directly for your Windows operating system. I will show you how you can set up Moodle latest version which is Moodle 4.1.1 on XAMPP. So let us get started. I will tell you which XAMPP version you need to download so that you can install Moodle 4.1.1 on your Windows computer. So first of all I will sh show you how you need to download the Moodle 4.1.1 package and then I will tell you which version we need to download from the XAMPP. So I am on the download page of the Moodle website which is download.moodle.org and here you can see the latest version which is released is Moodle 4.1.1. The bottom one is the latest official update of Moodle 4.1. It is the latest stable release and on the top you can see the weekly build which is a development kind of release you can see. And and here you can see that uh, it mentions that this Moodle 4.1 requires at least PHP 7.4 and other details which needs to be there on your own server. So this is the required information that we need a PHP 7.4 version for our Moodle. So now I will just switch my view to the Apache Friends website and tell you which, boot, which XAMPP version you need to download. So now as you can see this is the download page of the apachefriends.org website and here the all the three versions for the windows are for php 8.0, 8.1 and 8.2. So we need to download a php 7.4 version uh, so we need to click on this more downloads link and here go to XAMPP windows and here the last 7 point version is 7.4.33 so this is the version which you need to download and install for installing the XAMPP on your computer so you need to click on this one and then download the first file here I have already downloaded and set up this XAMPP on my computer so I will just show you how you can proceed after installing this XAMPP on your own computer also Now we will go back to our Moodle.org site and download the 4.1.1 version. So this is the 4.1.1 and I will download this zip file. You can also download the tgz which is the tar zip valve file and use any program like 7zip to un uh, unpack them. So I will download this zip file. So now I have downloaded this file and I will show you how you need to set it up in the XAMPP folder. So as you can see that this is my XAMPP folder and after installing the XAMPP I have got so many folders and files in my XAMPP directory where I have installed this. Generally it is installed by default in the C drive so I hope that you have also followed the same path and if not then you need to correct correctly enter the folder path here. Now in this all directories you need to go into this htdocs folder. This is kind of a uh, public html folder where all your websites can stay. You can use wordpress or you can use any other Moodle web folders to create different type of test websites. So what we need to do is we need to extract the contents of our zip file into this folder into a new folder within this folder so I will just switch back to the downloaded file and as you can see that this is the Moodle 4.1.1 zip file so what I need to do is I need to extract this into my htdocs directory so I will just click on this one and then select the folder here and now I will select all the files here and then I will click on the extract button here. Now here you need to enter the path of your htdocs directory. So I have used numerable times so I will just mention it that I will be installing it to Moodle 411 directory. So I will just click on enter. 
and as you can see that it is extracting all the files to the specified directory. So now we have got our own Moodle files ready in our publicational folder. But apart from this we need two more things which are, so this is the files we have copied from the zip file. Now what the other two things we need is one is the Moodle data folder and the second thing is a database to capture all the details of our Moodle database. So first I will create a new Moodle data folder. Generally it has to be kept outside your public html folder so what I will do is I will just go back to the xam folder I will come out of this stdocs folder and I will create a new folder here with the name m411 data you need to remember this folder because we need to configure this in our config.php file during installation now I will be just showing you how to create a new database in your PHP my admin. So this is PHP my admin and you can access this same page by going to localhost slash PHP my admin in your browser. Here you can see all the databases I have already created on my XAMPP environment and for this demo I will just click on the new button here and give the database a name so I will just give this a name as model 4.1.1 so it is model 411 on the right side you need to expand this drop down and select utf8 underscore unicode underscore ci and then click on create so now we have got our model 4.1.1 which is the database as 411 created in our database now we will just go back to our browser and start the installation process. So you can enter the localhost slash and then the Moodle directory which we have mentioned. For my case it will be Moodle 411. So I will just enter this URL and click on enter. So as you can see now I have got a installation prompt for the Moodle. On this first page you can choose the language which will be by default set for your Moodle and subsequently you can also add additional languages and you can update this. So don't worry about it, just click on the next button here. Now this is the page where we need to mention the paths. So as we have mentioned that this is the web address and the next one is our Moodle directory. Here comes the right question about the Moodle data directory, the folder what we created outside our XAM. So we need to mention the path of that folder here. So now I will just go back to that folder and copy the path here. And I will mention it here. So this is the C drive XAM and then I am for one data. I will click on the next button now. On this choose database driver, generally uh, by default it is set up to improve MySQL but for this case we need to select MariaDB here and then click on the next button. Now here we need to provide our database settings what we have just created. So if we go back to remember our database name it is Moodle 411. So I will be just coming back to our Moodle page and I will keep this database host as localhost, no change. For the database name it is Moodle 411. For database user I will be just giving a super admin of PHP my admin which is the root user and uh, it is generally comes by default without any password so I will be using this to access the Moodle 411 database but I will recommend to create a separate user for accessing only this database otherwise it can result in some other problems afterwards and then in the next field you need to mention the prefix which will be used in the database tables 
and then leave the database port by and then leave this database port by blank by default and then click on the next button so now everything is set up for continuing the installation so it will be showing you this license page and then you need to confirm if you agree with these conditions and understood once you are done then you need to click on the continue button here now it will show you some setups about your server environment everything should be in either yellow or better in green but if it is in red then you cannot continue with the installation so if you are facing any errors here you need to mention in the comments section of this window and i will suggest you the solution ab about that problem so as you can see my server is ready with everything and i can continue with the installation so i will just click on this continue button here now it will take some time to con to complete the installation so i will just pause the video for some time and then i will resume once it is completed so as you can see now everything has starting to install so first Moodle will install the system and then it will start installing all the different plugins and you can see that different type of plugins are getting installed it will take probably some more time to finish the installation so we'll keep waiting so as you can see it took almost uh, close to three or four minutes on my computer and afterwards after scrolling all through these things i will just go to the bottom of the page and then click on this continue button here so now as you can see that uh, our module is installed and we need to define our admin user which will be the super user for your, this module site it means that as an admin you can access each and every part of your Moodle site and if you change anything then it will definitely affect everything on your Moodle site. So be careful while using this admin account. So I will just mention the details of this one. Admin and then I will mention the password, the name and the user, and the last name and then the email ID. So I will just mention my email ID and then I will just scroll to the bottom and click on update profile here. Now this is creating the super admin role for our Moodle site. The next thing what it will do is, is uh, it will ask us for creating the details about the home page. What will be the site name called and all those things. So now here on the first field as you can see that it is asking for the site home settings. So here we need to mention that it is a Moodle 4.1.1. In my case I am mentioning this thing but for your case you can mention your own institution name or your school name or your college name or your corporate name. And similarly you can mention the single word name, a short name for your Moodle platform. If you would like to provide any summary for your home, you can mention this thing here. You can set the time zone in the next field. I will just keep everything as default and then I will just mention support email here. It is by default mandatory now in Moodle 4.1. So you need to mention a support email address here and then a notify address. So both things are mandatory now so you need to mention something. I'll just mention my same email address in both the fields and then click on save changes. But if you are an organization, you need to mention the specific support email and the no reply address for these two fields and then click on save changes. So congratulations, you have your module installed on your own SAMP. Now you can start proceeding with your own courses as well as creating your own learning environment in Moodle. In our subsequent videos I will show you how you can proceed ahead from this page to create your own courses and add activities and resources on your own course. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have faced any problem during any part of this video you can feel free to post in the comments section below and i will try to help you as much as possible 
thank you very much for watching this video if you have not yet subscribed to our youtube channel please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon i will really appreciate that thank you very much